That makes entirely sense in context. Yeah, 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 but, well, that's why you grab things out of context. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. it wouldn't make sense. What your character really does looking this really does look like fucking Jackie Chan. Jesus. <laughs> How did you manage that? Okay, I pressed the random button approximately became... <laughs> four times. You became four Jackie times. Chan. Jesus, it's so frustrating to start a new MMO. Where like you've played so many of these, you know how a fucking MMO works. Mm -hmm. Well, but still, I've played like, this fucking game for eleven years, and it still gives me the same fucking tutorials. Yeah, but I'm still here. Like, what do I do? Where do I go? Just, no. just take your quest. Where? Look at the map. How? Just <laughs> the map is in the corner. On which screen? Yours. How? What do you mean, how? Also, somebody in the world chat is talking about how they were, f for the first time, they went to Berlin in 1986. <laughs> <laughs> well, better 1986 than 1936. Yeah. This is Lord of the Rings Online. Hello, Zeno. We're just... It is very Running aged. around. It, it is, is very aged. aged. Then again, like, these like, zones are really fucking old. Like, these are the original zones that were yeah. created in, like, fucking 2009. Captain it wasn't even... Two, it was, like, 2007 or something. And, I mean, I have to give props to Blizzard that they kept keeping the game fresh and they have, like... Redone the graphics and everything. While yeah. other MMOs that have originated from the same era have done nothing like that yeah i don't actually know if the legendary servers which have very recently opened up i don't know if those have upgraded graphics or anything legendary servers are sort of like wow classic also i have abilities and i don't know how to use these oh i need to parry my god being able to move the mm. dialogue window is so such a good thing not being yes. able to do that is really fucking annoying. Not all. How, versed, how well versed are you in the Lord of the Rings lore? Um, I just know Aragorn was called Strider. Yes, Aragorn yep. Strider. Oh, so it is actually him. And it, it, it's Strider. literally Aragorn. He is just kind of under a pseudonym. Oh, oh God. We're not still pseudonym, but Sus, eh. aren't we? Just chilling with Aragorn right from the get-go. No, it's like you young. you bump into the fellowship every now and then. This is like before the fellowship was even formed. Right. There's so the, there's a whole like epic quest line, which is basically you, you follow them around. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. So we're like, we're straight up like a Mary Sue OC. It's like yeah, I was totally friends with them because before they became famous. It's kind of. From what I understand, it's that we are at a healthy distance from them. We're kind of sweeping their... Yeah, we, we're kind of sweeping their thing. The things that they leave behind in their adventures. Yeah. It's like, uh, during the... Well, the first expansion would be the Mines of Moria. And during the Mines of Moria, it's basically after the Balrog has been killed, mm. the dwarves have figured that, hey, maybe we could reconquer Moria. And then you mm -hmm. go there after the fellowship has been through there. Good day. Right, right. Might I have a word? Wait, how, how, how is she finding this out? This. Calder Cobb has been how do, how do you know they've been boy? murdered by the black dudes? <laughs> murdered by the black <laughs> dudes. Jesus Christ. That makes entirely sense in context. Yeah, 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 but, well, that's why you grab things out of context. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. it would make sense. Yes. Uh, how far did list. you get Can in I, the uh, game? Uh, oh, right, me, okay. So the, last time, the last time I played, I got to, like, 26, okay. and that's, uh... Psh, I don't know. The last what time I played was when they changed into the free-to-play model. I tried it and well I didn't really continue playing it. So uh yeah, that that's all I have. Keybind. Shift F. Okay. Although I'm a dwarf. Oh interesting. So I ideally oh, maybe. Daze the enemy briefly. Right. 
with the riddle. I can riddle enemies to yes. <laughs> fucking confusion. Yep. There is uh, <laughs> the law masters have this kind of a flashbang stun thing. Also, one thing I really like about the law masters, law masters in this game is like every spell you have like quote unquote spell since they're not mm -hmm. his daddy. So they can't do proper spells, but everything is something that one of these study does in the movies or the books. Like, your very basic fire spell is literally the burning pine cone that Gandalf throws at the logs. <laughs> They're kind of like cantrips. Yeah, kind of like that. Although you do get shit like summoning lightning from, sky, from the sky and stuff like that, eventually. But that, that is still some, everything like this study do. I really like the whole magic thing in Lord of the Rings. It's like, it's a high magic setting without the over-the-top magic stuff. Mm -hmm. What what does this Captain Trainer actually do? Because he has nothing uh, for me. You can just check the spells from them. They use they used to be like you have to buy your skills from them. Oh, so right, and so now it's I the just same thing in Rift these days. Yeah. You just automatically yeah. get your skills. I might have just straight up not looted anything this entire time. Uh, this is possible. You should have like the loot bag thing on the ro lower right corner of your screen. Yeah. Also, my mount is quicker than yours. Oh, yeah. I should load up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's kind of that's kind of an interesting mechanic. You can just farm for an for 50 yeah. minutes and then loot everything that you've gotten in the 50 minutes you've done. That's farming because your inventory space is relatively limited. So people do it like they farm a lot and then they just sit on it until they go to a merchant. Uh, I got Ionet's head as well. Oh, I don't have it because I make Okay, let's game just go crash. kill it then. Come on. I heard life in plastic was fantastic, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, life in plastic. And so on. Don't start. Don't start. Well, you do. Uh, you started it. I know. Don't continue. I already have. Uh, you already regret playing. your decision. I already have a whole diver playing forget. in my head. I have the fucking La Cucaracha song stuck in my head for half of today. Oh no! <laughs> it was so irritating. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. No, don't spread it. <laughs> You, you say that. You keep saying that, but you continue it. Yes. I know. You hypocritical I bastard. <laughs> I know. I'm very, I'm very easily influenced by music. That's all it took. Oh my. No. Uh, the whole shaving <laughs> thing is literally just for. What? Listen. Rift everywhere. <laughs> oh god. Uh, the shaving thing ah, is so primarily for like shaving is shaving making shavings and then shavings back into ingots is literally the way of fastly boosting through the levelings. Like you don't you no longer need to make a massive amount of like iron daggers to level up. Dagger, dagger, it's dagger. It's not Skyrim. <laughs> That used to be Nor the case, runescape. But nowadays they have made it quicker. So, well, we new... no longer have mounts unless we uh, pony up some cash. Indeed, so to speak. I have that time. A mount. Womp, womp, womp. Because I'm a rich bitch, aka I have accumulated enough points. Also, the uh, I think the 10 is for... Um, for a um, account-wide thing, isn't it? Indeed. The 10 Mithril. Also, my big pet peeve with games is when the auction house is locked behind paywall. And this one was. So I, I had to put money short... to be able to make more money in the game. <laughs> sure. One short row and stuff. Or any and money. Blade that, mold. That's, that was my issue with Rift. Because I fucked up something ver very early on. I was not able to actually use the auction auction house for selling anything. So that was a one bit of a one. bitch. So I just hoarded and hoarded and hoarded. 
and hoard it. And then open hoard the all the things. And Indeed. yes. And I apologize for the tiny fucking UI, but since I have a 4K screen and because Streamlabs is a bitch and doesn't let me scale the game properly for whatever fucking reason, I am going to have to play with tiny fucking menus. I apologize for this greatly. To anyone viewing my point of view. Now, Frosty, now I have stuff and things for you. Where are you? For crafting, mm -hmm. you should, you really should try to uh, save up your optional items. Because yep. that extra 45% chance to create a better version of the item is just yep. too good to pass. Also, la later on, once I level up my armor a little bit, I can start making stuff that make things better. Like, you have higher critical success chance. The one I already gave both of you Why gives 1% critical success chance. Hmm. And later on, I can make stuff that gives, I think it's up to 50% critical success chance. Can you hide your helmets? Yes. Is it, it is possible. Go go into cos cosmetic outfits and you can hide them from there. Ah, uh, damn it. It's you just don't have a to have a cosmetic one, one on. You can hide, there you go. You can hide them from the other menu as well. Just the basic bitch my, one. My oh, this is, is awful. My patch. It's better. Also, we might as well kill as many spiders as we can. Yeah, I actually have the spider slady done, apparently. Just in case you yeah, know. I have, I have it done. It actually shows if you... We killed the spider. We did kill the spider. spider. Also, if, if you hover your mouse over a creature, it tells underneath it if you have an applicable... Uh, an applicable deed for them. Oh. Which is quite useful. Wait, hold up. Is there Quality of life things. It's nice. Yeah. Little things. Having to actually pay to do something. And it's a actually service. relatively expensive. It's 25 mithril coins for one teach skill. Then again, you can use the teach skill as many times as you want. Mm. But still, like, if it used to be free and now it's behind real money, that is kind of a yeah. so. It is. Well, not Indeed, necessarily it real money. You can earn. Yeah, you, can, you points, can earn it by playing. But it's really oh. slow, ultimately. Well, yeah. that's questionable, but kind of yeah. okay as long as you can gain it real. Like, I am very much against cash shops in general. Yeah, like, yeah, they so sort of I. justify the whole thing that so many things cost lotro points. They justify it by the fact that you can actually earn lotro points by just yeah. playing the game. Which is just a really backward way of justifying things because they add a system so that they can justify having them in. Yeah. And having them of certain price. And again, that was originally Turbine's thing. I don't know if Standing Stone games have the same kind of standing for the game. Mm. Yeah. And I Turbine mean... was... Mm. Like, they went downhill towards the end when they had Lotro for themselves. Like, Corporate uh, well, Greed started to show quite a bit. They had DDO too. Yeah. But yeah, actually, I really like the flavor of uh, of thief or where well, stabby person in this game. It's like yeah. you do riddles, you throw dice, and the dice determine like the severity of high how high like uh, a debuff is. Yeah, I, I like is. the dice mechanic. It's brilliant. It adds an interesting flavor to it. Yeah, I think I, I say... run a Riddler. Like I'm, I think I'm playing a Riddler with my uh, burglar. I can't remember. Or then you can just go super high face damage with the mm -hmm. crit chances. Also, Frosty, you might want to dig up some of the copper as well, so you can start doing weapon smithing. Uh, the coppers aren't like for everyone. They disappear when you pick them. Oh, they should. Yes. They do. But they do. Like, this people can steal them right in front of you. This is interesting. I thought they changed that, but apparently nope. not. That's why I thought it was really funny that uh, those hundred level 120s were just taking them right in front of my face. Yeah, it's it's the reason because copper actually sells really, really well if you happen to have extra. Mm. 
it's well, really no, expensive. Well, nobody was it, selling it any. And the funny thing was that the prices were like 100 gold for a stack or something ridiculous yep. like that. Yeah, it could also be that they have uh, started a new character. I will now steal all this copper. Mm -hmm. You ain't gone, okay? No one? Just as you tell him that he should get copper, you steal copper right yes. in front of his face. Yeah, I thought that was kind of a dick thing to say. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like, I thought they didn't disappear. You've been beelining for those, and like, you should pick some of these too. Well, yeah. Uh, you do you have the track mines uh, skill enabled? Uh, I do. Should be yep. at least. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, not. You can have by some, of, some of the copper. Oh, thank, thank you. That's so great. Since I have, I have a bunch of money on my champion, that I can just buy copper if I actually need to. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Weird brag, Listen but okay. Listen Weird to flex. flexing at us. Yeah, just... Constant movement from one dick move to another. <laughs> Jesus. I can afford to buy it. You can be a peasant and dig it from the earth. <laughs> Indeed. I don't have to, for I'm a nobleman. Mm. <laughs> Wait, Since I can I have a hobby? Yep, what it's fishing. It? Fishing is oh. the only one available, sadly. <laughs> it's pretty and, dumb. and in this many years, they've only come up with fishing. It's really sad. Like, how yeah, it's is... like... There is a bunch of things like gardening and shit that were at one point hobbies, but have been moved into crafting. Right. I keep forgetting to use my buff. I have, like, also, you don't, ha you don't have your banner bearer up. Oh, he's probably dead. Yeah, you can just resummon him. He's not very uh, durable. Yeah, like, uh, it was, you know... you're not a very good captain, are you? <laughs> Indeed, you are not a good captain of people. Okay, you let your look, people die. Look, I never wanted to be a captain. My father said, No, not half mine is going to be a bard. Or minstrel, or whatever. <laughs> so, I'm here like, fuck you, dad. I'm going to find the prettiest dress, and I'm going to be a bard. And that's my personal character quest. I mean, that's It's RP. a fair quest. I'm, j I'm just a very, very angry dwarf who hates Mordor. <laughs> As all I, I, I just want to be. become the be very best onioner in the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're fucking oh, onioner. <laughs> Where the hell is onioner from? Is it from Gothic? Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, okay. Specifically, it's from a meme made of uh, voice clips. Ooh. Not for Christ's purchase from the Lotro store. What the shit? What? Um, what? What? Ready blade. Do I actually need to buy my special? Don't think oh, so. Set bonus. Unlock a class. What the shit? Oh, it's not very expensive though. Let's find them. Bit weird, but okay. Unlock your what? Uh, set bonus. That, that's a bit weird. Yeah, if we're Wait. getting five cal. Mm. What? No idea. Yeah, I have no idea what you're even re talking Me about. Me neither. I'm looking at my talents. I put five okay. talents into one of them. Uh, one of the trade oh, trees. Oh, no yeah, I'm unlocking those. Like the trade, oh. trade things. Right. So do I actually need to buy my trades? I have no idea. Because it says I do. Slot requires purchase from the Lotro store. <laughs> That's fucking dumb. Yeah, that that is insanely dumb. Yeah, I have no idea. And it could be a something. Yeah, yeah, it it, it literally default. does. Shadow of Lament tr triggers, so it's actually like gives me an extra way to use my skills, which is what a talent should give me, but I need to buy it? I have no idea. It's probably something that's unlocked by default and VIP, so I don't get that. Ugh. Yeah, th this is pretty ridiculous, because yeah, you, you I mean, have to whole... put, in, put in 95 points just for that. Yeah, and then yeah, that, I have that's... 45 of them, but still. That's one of the only things I really have issues with Lord of the Rings Online is the whole free-to-play aspect is kind of naff. Mm. Hence why I'm not free-to-play. But yeah, farming... 
is a weird profession. You can buy all the materials from the vendor. And you still get XP out of it. Yep. You don't have to even step out of the greenhouse. And you can do that shit. Yeah, I'm just giving advice to people. You is level 22. Okay. So I can't use your stuff yet, nor can I find any place to collect any you. Yeah, the guy... The, the quest tells you... The quest marker tells you to come inside the city. But the enemy that you... Seek the quest text actually tells you that he is right outside the town. Yeah. It it took me fucking eons to yeah. find him. It took me ages as well when I finally realized that oh, he's not actually supposed to be inside according to the quest yeah. text. And that's when I realized oh shit, I probably should read quest text. I I didn't read the text. I just noticed that there was a since you can hover over the enemy blips on the minimap, and I did that and went like, oh, there's the dude outside the walls. Mhm. Mm I felt really fucking dumb. Yep. And I just saved some time for two gentle individuals. Well, that's pants. really one of the only problems I have with the game, apart from the fact that some of the free-to-play aspects aren't quite so free-to-play. Yeah, it, it's kind of annoying, I have to say, but you can then again, happily... if, if you have the patience, you can bypass the whole... any, any elements that you need to buy. Except for probably yeah. like content packs, like expansions, those you will you, you, probably you can have get to pay. Everything up, you can get everything VIP. apart from the newest expansion with uh, with Lotro points, but the newest expansion is only available in their store, which requires actual money. But it's it takes ages if you actually want to collect all of that shit. Deed system is fairly expansive, and practically every deed you do gives you lotro points. Yep, yeah. yeah, and lotro points being the premium currency. But also, the thing with it, it, is it really nowadays... requires some uh, patience with the farming, and you have to have tolerance yeah. for farming if you're going to go with that route. Otherwise, it's better to just pay up some cash yeah, to make you your life easier. If you're willing to pay cash, I would heartily recommend you pay for VIP instead of buying lot throw points, since that's far more value for money. I feel that Lotro is one of those MMOs where you feel like you've made some progress, even if you play a little bit. Just kill yeah, random mobs. That is very true. It's kind of the same in Guild Wars 2, honestly. Soundtracks, soundtracks like this that just get me pumped. I love it. Absolutely adore this. Don't get stuck now. <laughs> ah, Rauta Ah, yes. I have found these. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I knew that these existed in the lore. <laughs> I just can't get over it still. Rauta Lehme being Iron Cow in Finnish. Ah, uh, it sounds so silly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Ivory. Ah, oh, Christ. Ah, uh, it's so... These, these... Earthkin are basically Finnish people. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Earthkin of the Rautalehme. Take weapons from the fallen. Oh my... Good god. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's too funny. It's just the thing that when you find something of your own language, it's just entirely out of place. It's... It's absolutely hilarious. Asiko. Asiko. Since, it, since it's Finnish, it's, it should perhaps, probably be pronounced Asiko. Or Finnish-inspired. You come for my book! I had not thought of those days for long. Those days for long and long. Interesting, uh, they are using like... Uh, pigeon. Pigeon sort of like... Uh, grammatical features. Are you gone drunk? No. You are not he. You must forgive me. But it is difficult to know. You little folk look so much alike to the Suri Lehme. And my mind is on the pain of my own people. Suri Lehme being big cow. Ah. Uh. You may help the Elder Tao. <laughs> I like you, little. I I like like you, little warrior. I wish to see some of your skill. Wargs are little creatures, much like you. The aurochs, they are more like us. Big, difficult to kill. If you can bring us meat of the aurochs, the Suri Lehme will hold you in high esteem indeed. Ero. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, this guy's just hunter. Who, who cares? Mauno! Good old Mauno! I think that's enough Finglish. That's enough Finglish for tonight. It is an insult! <laughs> it is an insult indeed! What is <laughs> uh, villages of the Earth can. There are more! <laughs> I can handle this. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is great. <laughs> oh, this is so fucking dumb. I love this. I mean, he... I mean, Tolkien probably did... He did this very seriously, but as a Finnish person, I cannot. I cannot. It's impossible. My God, is it impossible to actually just take this seriously? Oh my God, I need to return to this soon. <laughs> oh my God. I, uh... This is great. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can quite grasp how fucking not not fucking really stupid. It's it's just really really silly. Everything sounds so silly here. Ivory. Uh, it's 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 funny because they're real names. It just doesn't seem to feel. It it just doesn't feel a place. Like it it was like this guy's name was like. 
fucking, I don't know, Jack. Does he look like a fucking Jack to you? No. I don't think so. He doesn't look like a Jack to me. It's kind of the same thing. Like, fucking Ero. Dahvo. Asiko. I mean, I suppose it, it would make sense if it was like uh, older Finnish. I, in those days, it probably would have made sense. Like in, in the modern day, it, the names themselves are fairly uh, somewhat kind of like biblical. You know, they come from fairly deep into like Finnish history and Finnish mythology as well. To an extent. So yeah, it, it's a really cool reference. But I find it hilarious. <laughs> 